Okay, we are out here with the 300 Win Mag. She's looking pretty cursed right now. I know. Uh, she did a Leopold scope on here. It broke. I forget what, what happened. I never did put one on because I don't use this gun, like, ever. I used to use my other Win Mag more, but then we converted it to 458. So we're going to be versing 200 pound block of lead versus... Uh, Armor Pearson is incendiary API, and then these are 300 Win Mag uh, Blue Tip incendiary. Very, very powerful rounds. But we're gonna first try out the factory ammo. I mean, look at that price, dude. Could you imagine nowadays? So I got this on sale. If you ever go to Walmart and you're looking to get ammo, talk to the managers there because the one at my local one, she's pretty cool. Uh, she brought out a whole cart. Just they have a bunch of stuff in the back. That's usually on sale. Not always, but sometimes. She brought out this cart filled with ammo. And they didn't really have anything I wanted and or needed. They had a bunch of these for $15 for a 300 Win Mag. Could you imagine nowadays? Anyway, enough talking. Let's get to shooting. So, I sighted it as bore sighting this. I won't be able to tell. But uh, it's like perfect. But I'm going to take one practice shot here. Then we'll get into the video. Okay, real quick before we get into the fun stuff here. If you want to know if you can shoot a 300 Win Mag out of Weatherby Mag, yes, you can. Uh, this is what happens. This is a 300 Win Mag here, what it normally looks like. When you shoot a Weatherby out, you just blow the case, and you can't reload this. It's completely worthless now. But you can, and they do group pretty good. That's just a red dot, you know, from there to there away. So, you know, uh, I probably wouldn't do it. You know, it's probably not, you probably won't get the best accuracy, but for what we're doing today, it's going to work just fine. So it's hitting a little low, a little to the right. About an inch, actually. Yeah. No. Not even quite, really about a half inch. But uh, keep that in mind. And we will blast this son of a bitch with some power. Okay, I'm going to just try this just standing here. Yep, you know, pretty easy shot. So this is just a regular hunting round. I forget how many grains they are. Just regular soft point hunting round. See what does that 200 pound block of lead down there. Dude, this thing thumps up. Let's go check it out. All right, well, I mean, that's a pretty smooth, pretty big hole. Went in that deep. <laughs> We're getting real scientific here, guys. It went in that deep. So let's try a blue tip. Let's see what it does. But it ate that, though. That's pretty cool. What led so fun to shoot? Man, it's like a fucking hurricane about to hit here. Next up is the incendiary 300 Win Mag. These are pretty expensive. Uh, I can't. I, I think I paid between five and ten dollars a shell. I can't remember. I bought a bunch of different shit, and they ain't cheap. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna take my time and aim here. All righty. wasn't too explosive as the other ones, maybe because it's lead. Well, let's go check it out. All right, I see some uh, molten stuff there. I bet it's extremely hot. And that was not as powerful as a soft point. Let's see, we're getting real scientific here. Ooh, it went in further though. <laughs> this guy should really dig in deep. There's like burnt stuff here. There's like another hole with some burnt shit. So what I'm gonna do, since that wasn't very eventful, I have these steel plates here. My buddy John from LA 211 uh, sent these. I have some other ones he sent are really nice, but they're down at the house, except for minus the elephant. Sorry, buddy, he's holding up the block of lead right now. So we'll shoot this with this, and then the blue tip to turkey, and that should be pretty fun. So stay tuned for that. Okay, we got a silver tip in there, an API. And let's try, I'm gonna try to hit something. Oh no, I think my scope came loose. My red dot, I think she's a little loose, guys. Let me see if I can address this issue. All right, ran back down the house, got some tools, got some G fuel, got this thing zip tied back on there pretty much. Where were we? The API, all right. So we got another, well, got the silver tip in it. Hold on, please stand by. All 
Okay, now we're ready. Much more of a flash on that one for sure. I was hoping it stayed center. I was aiming to the right of that, but it hit right above the other one there. So it hit elevation good, hit a little left. See your breath now. Let's go check it out. Alrighty, so let's see what happened. Yeah, so unfortunately, she kind of blew out the center. Oh, she went the whole way through, guys. Oh, there, see, dude, that thing. It went, oh, I should put, why didn't I put something behind it? There's the exit. That went through all that lead. That's insane. I'll look around a little bit, but she's probably, she's probably left a chat for sure. I wonder if it went through there and out the back of the dirt. Uh, eh, I'll look around some. If I see anything, I'll let you know. But yeah. So let's see what the silver tip does to this. This is half inch AR 400 or 300, John. 400? Oh man, I feel so bad. And I have your other better targets down there. It would be better suited for this, even though I was just down the house. I didn't fucking grab them. They were, I was literally right beside them. I didn't grab them. I didn't even think. Anyway, this is half, it, half inch, and that's 3 eighths, I do believe. This is, I know it will go through because they went through on the turkey and he's half inch, I do believe. We'll shoot that with a blue tip and this with a silver tip. Let's get into it. All right, so we got one more blue tip incendiary. It should uh, ignite pretty good on that metal. Might have been a problem before. So let's shoot that turkey target down there and see if this one gets a little better result. So that must be some kind of other incendiary rounds because my other ones, they, they don't, they're not like that. You get a big plume of blue smoke. That must have some kind of different incendiary in there. But my God, did that hit, hit hard. I think it'd still hit a deer pretty hard. So let me dig out another silver tip and we'll shoot them steel plates. Okay, we got another silver tip in here. We'll be shooting them steel plates. I'm going to try to aim right in the center. Oh, there we go. Let's go see what happened. Oh, wow. It looks like it went through both of them. No. It hit off that one and kind of uh, shanked because they were kind of spaced apart. I, I thought that would happen. That's what happened. You can see the penetrator. She penetrated. And like I said, that's AR 400 steel. Pretty sure it's 400. Three or four. 100%. 69% sure it's fucking 400. Doesn't matter. He's still swinging. You can see right where that hit. I said, I don't know what the heck kind of material is in there. It's different than my other ones. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you have any, uh, any kind of other ideas, of what I can shoot with them, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.